Okay, it's going to be a quick video about the proper way to install an aluminum gas tank so it will actually last longer than 10 years. First of all, uh, a lot of guys they like to foam the tank in 100% completely. Some people will even go as far as to put a strip of g glass around the top and all this other stuff to try to seal the tank up and hold it in place and all this other stuff. And you're actually, when you do that, doing yourself a disservice because these tanks are actually very susceptible to crevice corrosion, which occurs when water comes in contact with the tank and there's a lack of oxygen. And when you got foam all around the tank, it's very easy for just a little bit of water to get in there and it stays there. It could even just be condensation and it just gets there and stays there right up against the aluminum and that's what corrodes it. You could get your, uh, you could hose your tank down every day and it wouldn't corrode. It's not just because it gets wet. It's because it gets wet and it gets held right up against it. So what you want to do is just put your, put your tank in, no foam around it or anything. You want to secure it with your tabs or your straps or what are you, whatever you're using. And if you're using straps, make sure there's nothing in between the strap and the tank that can hold water and also lead to crevice corrosion. But um, if you got tabs, use those. And in the bottom of the tank, what you do is you take some neoprene rubber or there's also some other even more fuel resilient rubbers out there. I got this from the Goodyear factory. Goodyear rubber products. They actually gave it to me for free out of some scraps they had. And uh, it's a quarter inch thick neoprene rubber and you put this in the bottom of the tank and the best thing you can do is 5200 this the whole piece and just Plop it right up on the bottom of the tank, all the way sealed off, and then you let that dry. Once you got all four pieces and your strip along the middle dry, you cover them with 5200, stick the tank down, and then the only thing holding it in place is that 5200 on those pads and these mounting bolts. And then you have all this airspace all around it, and you make sure you have drains in the back for any water that might get in the tank coffin to get out. So that way any water that gets in here runs out. No water can ever be held up against the tank. No corrosion can really ever occur. And uh, when you do it like this, it's likely that your tank will outlast your boat. So, yeah. And a lot of guys will say, well, if I'm not gonna put foam in, then I'm going to I'm going to use wood to shim it in place, some treated 2x4s or something. And uh, you don't want to use anything that absorbs water if you're going to wedge your tank in place. Don't use wood because it's going to absorb water and then what's it going to do? Crevice corrosion. It's going to put a hole in your tank. So just put it in. Um, and then down here, don't forget to do your see here. Don't forget to uh, do your tie wire that goes up to your vent. Actually up to your fuel fill, sorry. Tie wire, and don't forget that. And uh, don't forget to use two hose clamps on your fuel fittings. I like to do them like this so that, because right where the clamp is, is actually like, like a little gap in the clamping force. So you put them on opposite sides so you, you get a perfect seal all the way around. And, yeah. I uh, also put di dielectric grease on all your fittings so they're going to last just that much longer. And be sure, guys, not to use uh, Radio Shack wire. Get, get some actual marine wire when you're wiring up your boat. Especially down in the fuel tank where it's such a pain in the ass to get to again. And, yeah, and actually down here, you don't want to use Teflon tape when you're putting in these these fittings. One of the best things you can do is just use blue Loctite, the removable kind, and that will actually seal up the threads pretty good. And yeah, and sure no little pieces of Teflon tape go through your fuel system. And don't use silicone because that's going to break down with the gasoline. So yeah, 
There's a couple other products you can use, but blue Loctite is a good one. And I think that's about it, aside from using USCG approved alcohol rated fuel lines to deal with the ethanol out there today. And just make sure you got every, everything uh, done before you put the cover back on because it's a real pain to get to again. And the next guy that owns the boat will thank you for not putting foam in it when his tank outlasts the life of his boat. Thanks for watching.